It's hard to imagine losing a loved one unexpectedly, but that's the case for one Boise family after their son and brother was hit by a drunk driver. During months spent in the hospital, St. Alphonsus nurses helped provide support for the grieving family, giving them a physical way to always remember him through his heartbeat. Six on your side's Jillian Griggs shares their story. Justin was the life of the party. For Wendy and Haley Kiniston, not a day goes by they don't think of their son and brother, Justin. He's there with us still. I mean, we still get signs from him. In September, the 21-year-old engineering senior at Idaho State University was with his friends in downtown Pocatello when he was hit by a drunk driver. They were drinking, so he decided he was going to walk home. And he was walking home, and he got hit by a drunk driver. So he did the responsible thing and got hit by somebody else that didn't. We didn't know at that time it was going to be so severe. Justin spent a month in the hospital in Pocatello, then was brought to St. Alphonsus in Boise. With severe brain injuries, on December 10th, Justin passed away. My last words to Justin were, I love you and it's okay, you can go. It's time. And they had put him up on the fifth floor at this point and just let him die peacefully and his whole family was around him and we watched him leave his body. But I just told him I loved him. While Justin was in the ICU, the St. Al's nurses became family to the Kinistons, going above and beyond to help them remember their loved one with hand molds and fingerprints and Justin's heartbeat. It was un pretty unexpected. Uh, they were just like, hey, we've got um, an idea if you are interested. With help from the NICU, the nurses set to work, bringing a Build-A-Bear voice recorder to the room. What we can do with our machines is um, project the heartbeat so you could hear it out loud, just like you'd hear a baby's heartbeat in utero. So she hooked Justin up to the ultrasound machine and we recorded all of us on our cell phones and she recorded on the voice recorders from Build-A-Bear. He had a great strong heart, so it was, it was a good thing. You could tell that it was a really, really strong family and that he was, he was coming from a place that was really going to miss him a lot. And uh, I mean, you can't not go home and not cry. <laughs> so, but I was really happy that um, all the right players were there that day. With that heartbeat, when the time was right a few months later, Wendy and Haley were ready to put Justin's bear together. For love. Justin loved gangster music, and I don't know why, because it's horrible, but um, we built a gangster bear. And Justin was always walking around, with, you know, showing his gun show and stuff, so we did it without a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so it was almost like Justin was with us telling us how he wanted his bear built. <laughs> And uh, that was really hard. I'd bawled the whole time in Build-A-Bear, but I couldn't stop thinking about how much it meant to me. And now, a visit back to the hospital, this time to say thank you. Yeah, you're the one that did it. <laughs> oh, it's my pleasure. So this is how it turned out. Oh, Let's look at that. It's just nice to know that the little things that we do to make a difference do make a difference. Yeah, we just we just do these things and we don't, we don't ever expect anybody to give us anything in return. It just comes from love mm -hmm. and hope for the parents. So I just wanted you guys to know how much it meant to me and my oh, family. That's so great. It was just another memory that we have of them. We send these moms home without their babies and to be able to hold something tangible and then to hear the heartbeat, which was the first sign of life that they ever heard. And you know, his heartbeat was so beautiful. Now, whenever we want to hear him, we can, we can hear him. We love you, Justin. Jillian Garrigues, six on your side. Hmm. Brilliant idea. Right? All nurses are angels, but I'll tell you what, they went above and beyond. That's pretty neat.